I don't play, especially with oxtail. I don't, you know, I don't be with the fork and stuff. Mm -mm. This is how you eat oxtail. You pick up the bone and you suck. You suck it right off the bone. Okay, good morning. This is it. Scary. Fresh out the bed. Puffy. But here I am. Um, I just want you guys to know how impressionable I really am, especially when it comes to food. So, after I pray and read my devotional and stuff every morning, um, I get on TikTok or I get on social media like every other person, check emails, that whole bit. But I was on TikTok this morning and a creator was talking about Taste of Brooklyn, Taste of Heaven, Taste of Heaven here in Brooklyn. Um, it's supposed to be like the best soul food spot. So that was motivation for me to get out of the bed today because I have nothing to do today. It's an off day, off day for me. You know, when you own your business, you never have an off day. But it's an off day for me today. So I was like, hmm, let me go do something. So I'm gonna go try Taste of Heaven and you're coming with me. Well, I, um, I spoke too soon. <laughs> I forgot I have a TikTok video to edit and I have, make sure y'all not in my business. It's gonna be a little while before I get to the um, soul food spot, but I'm super excited. See, this is what I was talking about. When I say, you know, being the owner of your own business, you really don't have a day off. It's one of those things where I'm like, oh yeah, I got tomorrow free, I got nothing to do. No, I have social content to edit. And then two orders just came through on Dinner Plus, dinnerplus.co. So if you haven't bought my spices already, you need to go do that. Um, so we're gonna pack those orders and I have to stop at the post office to get those out. But that should be quick because it's only two. So thank you Jesus for all the orders. Thank you for all the supporters for all the orders too. And um, yeah, a big thing for me when starting Dinner Plus though was like, you know, I just wanted to have a good time and like post on socials and stuff. And then as I started doing the spices and stuff like that, I was like, you know, it's already hard to get people to move units and to convert units. But I want my customers to know that the most important thing for me is fast shipping. I hand pack every single order that goes out. I hand pack it myself. I don't work with the team. It's just me. So with that being said, every order gets packed by me. Every order is hand touched by me, so look, you're touching the hand of God. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just joking. But um, you know, I as soon as an order comes through, no matter where I'm at, I have to make sure that I can get it out. Like ASAP. I try not to wait too much because as a consumer, I don't like to wait for nothing. As soon as I order it, I really want it to be at my door. Like I want it to be at my door as soon as I press order. So I try to get my orders out same day, ship it out same day, if not first thing the next morning. Okay. I finally finished editing my video. I'm about to go live. Also, bitch, didn't I eat this? I look so fab. Zoom, focus, purr. Yeah, I looked so fab this day. <laughs> Love. Work on the okay. Vehicle, which is awesome. So, let's get this video up. Video. My Escovich Branzino from my Trader Joe's haul. If you didn't watch it, go watch it. Um. And then we're gonna go get food because now I'm actually hungry. Like, now I'm hungry. And I just hope it's not one of, you know how you go to a soul food spot and it'd be like a 45 minute wait? I just hope it's not that. Like, I hope it's like one of those things where it's like, you know, like a good 10, 15. I'm hungry now and I have to go all the way to Williamsburg. But I just feel like it's gonna be worth it. I haven't had soul food in so long. I'm so hungry. I need to find a good cover photo. I forgot to take a picture of this so i'm just gonna use this one. Oh, period that looks great oh her. okay and she's live okay so we're gonna complete the outdoor portion of this video handheld so we're on mobile now um my camera is dying there it is so we're off I need to invest in one of those um one of those, uh, whatchamacallits. Oh, I look a little sloppy. Yeah. Um, I need to invest in one of those dashboard things. Like, since we're gonna be going on missions and stuff together, I need to get like a dashboard thing from tripod for my camera and for my phone. Oh, a rooster. Bitch, I am pissed. 
Dear customers, please be advised we will be closed for vacation Tuesday, February 21st, returning March 1st. Excuse me? Bitch, what? You know, I am... Uh, sorry, someone's texting me. I am really disappointed that this place was closed. Let me fix my... I don't even know what to call this because it's not a beard. I can't grow a beard, but that's beside the point. I am just so disappointed that that place is closed and they have like zero online presence to let it be known that they're on vacation. How dare you? Um, and now I'm like craving soul food. Like nothing is seeming appealing to me. Nothing. I'm like, should I just go get Jamaican food? Should I go home and cook? And I'm like, I'm really not in the mood to cook. Like I, I, I need a break from cooking for real. Um, like, ugh. so I pulled up to Ma and Pop Soul Food and I'm not even excited about it because every time I come here, all right, the last time I came here, it was extremely, extremely bad. Like, the sweet tea was so sweet. It was like drinking syrup. It was actually like liquid diabetes. Um, The fried chicken was so dry. I have never had... A ch I've never seen someone dry out a chicken thigh before. Like, I didn't even know that was remotely possible. When I tell you that chicken thigh was so dry, I felt like I was eating chalk. I was like, oh, wow. Oh, this is wow. Um, So, yes, I'm going to give it another shot because I do like the yams from here. And I'm really craving, like, some yams. Maybe I'll get, like, salmon or something. You know, like... Something and I'd be like, just do my salmon medium. Don't overdo my salmon because I don't know. Like everything don't gotta be deep cooked. Like you can look at me. I'm shaking the camera because I'm so agitated. Let me calm down. Let's go and see what we get. Okay, y'all. I realized that I was so upset that I said the wrong place. I did not pull up to Mom Pops. I actually really like that place, but they're never open. I don't even know if they still exist, to be honest. Like, every time I go there, they're not open. Um, but they have bomb, I mean, so good chicken and waffles. Anyway, back to what I was saying. So, I actually pulled up to bed -Stuy Fish and Fry. That's where I went. And that place... It's always so hit or miss, normally miss, but I saw the chicken today. It didn't look that dry, so I got the chicken. I also got oxtails and rice and peas, which I don't really eat oxtail from Southern people. I know that's going to sound a little shady, but I prefer... I, I'm Jamaican. I make great oxtail, so, like, Southern people making oxtail is really not a thing for me, but I'm going to give it a try. The mac and cheese looked mad good. The, I When I walked in, they had just put out a fresh thing of yams, too, and I was like, ooh, this is God on my side. This is God on my side because I love the yams from here. Um, the tea, I got the tea. The tea do look a little dark. It's giving, it's giving beaties. Just saying. So, uh, God forbid. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go home and we're gonna eat. All right, y'all. I'm back home. We got the food. We got the tea. So let's see. All right, that's not fish and fry. <gasps> oh. Oh, wow. Okay, the oxo is a little bit messy. I don't like that. I don't like a mess. Gross. All right. So, like I said, we got fried chicken, mac and cheese, and yams. And then, I'm not gonna lie, the mac and cheese looks so good. Ooh, I am so hungry. <laughs> and then, obviously, I'm not cooking today, and probably not tomorrow either, with all this food. And we got oxtail, more yams. Oh, I hate when yams are this big. I like my yams mashed up like mashed potatoes. And rice and peas with gravy on it. Um, but this is what I'm talking about. I don't see no sweet pepper, no thyme. I mean, obviously Jamaican people make oxtail different, but mm -mm. spoke too soon. Mmm, that's a tender cut of meat. That is a tender cut of meat. Wow. 
I can't believe I have y'all watching me eat like this. But I don't play, especially with oxtail. I don't, you know, I don't be with the fork and stuff. Mm -mm. This is how you eat oxtail. You pick up the bone and you suck. You suck it right off the bone. Mmm. Wow. Okay. All right. That is a tender cut of meat. Mmm. That yam smells so good. Okay. Fried chicken. Did Best Eye Fish and Fry get better? Maybe I just had a bad night that night. Cuz. Hmm. No, wait, hold on. That is good. Mmm. 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 Okay. Let's taste this. These yams. I. I don't like when my yams are this big. I like my yams mashed up like mashed potatoes. They're soft though. So that is the upside. There go the yams. Yeah, they did that. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's get into this mac and cheese. My favorite thing in the world, and if you with me, you with me. Like, I like people who know how to eat. And if you know how to eat, you know the best way to eat yams and mac and cheese is together. Like, this, this be the perfect bite on Christmas, on Thanksgiving. When you get a bite of mac and cheese, the tartness, the cheesiness, the te mm. And then you mix that with a little bit of the yams. I'm gonna sleep real good today. I'm gonna take me a... Oh, I'm gonna take a hard nap. I'm gonna wake up, eat the rest of this, take another nap. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna probably eat it again for lunch because I'm not gonna have no breakfast. And you know what? I might need to go to the gym. I'm not gonna do that. The gym, give that out. But this. Child, of course, my camera died. Like, what's new? That seems to be like the common thread here. I'm gonna charge that camera the way I charge my phone. Like, my phone don't never die. Um, so let's try this tea. This was really what pissed me off the last time, too. Um, oh, whoo, this tea is giving Big Mama your arm. Like, this is Beatty's tea. Mm mm. That is, mm mm. Can't drink that. Mm mm. Oh, my God. That's the type of tea to have you laid up in the hospital bed talking about, I ain't cutting off my leg, and that's that. Mm-mm. You're about to get me. To have me laid up, needing insulin, mm-mm. Give me the beaties. Hell no. Skip that tea. But this food? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna eat this food. Pray to God that it don't do nothing to me and um yeah we call y'all back later thank you for watching no for real thank y'all so much for watching like you know this is new this is like I, I i'm not gonna keep saying it but it is new for me this is a brand new thing for me um of course you know i'll do more things on the channel and have some more fun but i do want to say thank you for watching and you know having fun with me and Listen to me run my mouth and eat food and do random things. And there'll be more fun things coming up soon. So in the meantime, you know, keep watching. Keep watching on TikTok. You know, reposting, sharing, all of those things. And um, stay tuned for more. I ain't never seen a chicken drumstick this big. Oh, my God. I'm going to eat it, though. But this is like a turkey leg. Mmm. That's good, though. You know, another thing I will say is they did not skim with the uh, the oxtails. They're going to be five 
big pieces of oxtail, and enough gravy. Mmm. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. They could have gave me a little bit more rice, though.